if you're not careful and you no clip out of reality in the wrong areas, you will end up in the back rooms, where it's nothing but the stink of old, moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow, the endless background noise of fluorescent lights at maximum humbuzz, and approximately 600 million square miles of randomly segmented empty rooms to be trapped in. God save you if you hear something wandering around nearby, because it sure as hell has heard you. Level 7. Thalassophobia. Survival Difficulty. Class 4. Unsafe. Unsecure. Medium Entity Count. Level 7 is the 8th level of the back rooms. It poses a significant obstacle to the exploration of level 8 and further. Description. Very few people have truly explored level 7, but what is currently known is that the level seems to be composed of two areas. The entrance room and the main area. A vast expanse of water, comparable in scale and volume to an ocean. Aside from the light, from the ceiling light in the entrance room, see below. Level 7 does not have any fixed sources of light. Despite this, there seems to be a general dim lighting to the entire level. The screams of level 6 are not present, as well as the buzzing of previous levels. The water that makes up the majority of level 7 is distilled, rather than being salt water or regular fresh water. This water is reported to be extremely cold, with several sources comparing its temperature to that of liquid nitrogen and long periods of exposure are strongly discouraged. The entrance room appears to be the only point of entry to level 7, being directly at the bottom of the stairs from level 6. This entrance room is one of the few rooms within the first 9 levels that is fully furnished with a bookcase against one wall containing several books of unknown origin, a small coffee table, a single chair, and a fluorescent ceiling lamp. The carpeted floor is covered with a shallow pool of water, roughly 5 centimeters deep. The only entrance into the main area is a single door across the room from the staircase. An important detail to note is that this room and the main area of level 7 have completely different centers of gravity. The aforementioned door opens to show the surface of the main area from a top-down perspective from the ceiling. The room is seemingly rotated horizontally but gravity still works to keep one's feet on the floor in the first room. Upon entry, the gravity of the main area immediately takes effect and pulls anything or anyone in range of the doorway towards the surface of the water. This gravity is significantly stronger than normal Earth gravity, making staying afloat in the water difficult. The main area of level 7 is composed of a gigantic ocean that appears to stretch out endlessly in all directions. The door to the entrance room is located on a fixed spot on the concrete ceiling, which is roughly 4.5 meters above the surface of the water. Several islands composed of an unknown form of rock have been discovered on the surface of the water around 2 kilometers north of the doorway, most of which are uninhabited due to their remote nature. The level 7 ocean is mostly unexplored, but appears to be primarily empty for the first 1.2 kilometers, an area which will henceforth be referred to as the Daylight Zone. As the name suggests, the Daylight Zone is the most well-illuminated part of the Level 7 ocean, being slightly less dim than the surface. Light levels gradually decrease throughout the lower half of the Daylight Zone and are significantly lower, around 1.2 to 2 kilometers below the surface of the water henceforth referred to as the Twilight Zone. The Twilight Zone of the Level 7 Ocean contains loose bones and scraps of rusted metal, as well as the first sightings of full skeletons. These skeletons are often humanoid, with some slight differences, such as much larger jaws containing long, sharp teeth, and no eye sockets to speak of. Several skeletons of large, unearthly fish have also been spotted, some as large as 20 or so meters in length. The water pressure is said to be quite strong by this point, yet it appears at no point in the level 7 ocean is the pressure great enough to crush the human skeleton. However, effects of long-term exposure 
have not been tested, and thus explorers willing to travel this far or further down are advised to leave as quickly as possible. The area from 2 to 6.8 kilometers below the surface, henceforth referred to as the Midnight Zone, is completely dark. Many more full skeletons have been found within this portion of the ocean, almost completely comprised of the humanoid skeletons mentioned above. There have been reports of incredibly large fish-like skeletons in the Midnight Zone, but the skeletal structures of these creatures have been described by witnesses as incomprehensible. Any depth below 7 kilometers from the surface, henceforth referred to as the Abyss, is considered to be too dangerous to explore. With the longest recorded exploration to the Abyss lasting approximately 1 minute and 45 seconds. The Abyss is said to be populated with mountainous piles of tar and rock, with a steady bubbling emanating from an unknown source below. This area is reported to be densely populated with the aforementioned humanoid skeletons most of which have been eroded in some regard by the immense pressure. Little else is known about the depths of the waters, aside from rumors of a cave entrance in one of the underwater mountains that is said to lead to level 8. In terms of entities, level 7 is reported to contain only one. Alone in the freezing waters, the thing on level 7 appears to have killed off any other life in the ocean. This creature is single-handedly the most dangerous aspect of traversing level 7, as its incredible swim speed, detection skills, and physical strength make it capable of locating, traveling to, and eviscerating its victims in a matter of minutes, or even seconds, depending on its distance from the target. Explorers are strongly advised to avoid exploration entirely, but any willing to attempt such an endeavor are recommended to bring some form of distraction, such as meat, to buy themselves enough time to explore. The current depth of level 7 is unknown by exact terms, but members of the BAS has determined it to be impossibly deep, architecturally wise. Fragments of synthetic fiber in the Midnight Zone and Abyss suggest that the ocean floor is carpeted. Bases, Outposts, and Communities Fort Surrender an outpost on the closest recorded island, comprised of a haphazardly constructed shelter composed of broken furniture held together by tar. Inhabitants are rumored to have devoted themselves to worshipping the thing on level 7. Numbers of inhabitants. Unknown, but said to be somewhere between 4 and 9 people. Population of the outpost is rumored to be hostile. Entrances and Exits Entrances the only known entrance to level 7 is through a staircase down from level 6, which leads directly into the entrance room. There are, however, rumors of a possible entrance through a puddle on the floor of level 6. Exits The only known exit is through an underwater exit shaped like the entrance to a cave, located somewhere in the side of a mountain roughly 7 kilometers below the surface of the ocean which was discovered by u slash Bartonius and u slash Evolded. This entrance will lead to level 8. It is important to note that there is no clear way to return to level 7 from level 8 or any further level. 